Hello everybody, I'm Paul Tace and today we're going to be looking at the DJI Mavic Mini and we're going to have a little look to see how powerful this guy is. Now, it can do well in the wind, although it does suffer a bit, but it's made me curious of how much this guy can carry. So what I've done is I've got this bowl, some Velcro, and we're going to test out household items, see how heavy they are, and see how well it can fly with them. Let's get started. <sighs> Okay, so where it's been a bit windy and rainy in England recently, um, I've decided to try flying the Mavic Mini indoors. Now the good thing about flying indoors, if you don't have a license, is you can go over the 250 gram mark legally and you're still allowed to fly these drones. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit on the sofa and I'm going to have my drone bring some things over that I might need. Okay guys, so bearing in mind this is a 249 gram beginner's drone, uh, how much do you think this can carry in total, including its own weight? Pause the video now, write a comment in the comment section down below, and at the end we're going to have a rough idea of how much this guy can carry. Let's do some science. I'm going to change over to my computer microphone now. Now we're going to start off by finding the combined weight of our bowl and our drone, and it comes in at 282 grams. Let's see how it does. Lovely. It's got no trouble whatsoever. Next, I'm on the sofa and I need a packet of crisps. So let's find the combined weight. It comes in at 296 grams. And I'll point out here that the uh, scales aren't 100% accurate and do vary by a couple of grams each time. Let's see how it does. Again, we've got absolutely no trouble whatsoever flying our crisps over to ourselves on the sofa. Bon appetit. Now I've got my crisps, it's time to turn the TV on and I want to switch over to the HDMI channel so I'm going to need the TV remote. The TV remote comes in at 353 grams. Let's see how it does. There we go. Again, there's not too much trouble going on, it's wobbling a bit, but it's more than sufficient of bringing the TV remote over to me. Once I've switched the channel over to the HDMI, next I'm going to need to browse for the programs. For this, I'm going to need my Now TV remote. The Now TV remote comes in at slightly higher at 362 grams. Let's see how the drone does. Again, it is a bit wobbly, but it still has no trouble at bringing the remote over to us. Lovely. Great stuff. There we go. Let's put some Netflix on. So I'm happy now, but um, can this help anybody else in the house? Meet Barbie. This is my daughter's creepy doll. Uh, now, she didn't have any clothes on for some reason, so to keep the video PG, I put some glittery tape over her. Now, Barbie's Ferrari is broken down, so she needs a new mode of transport, and the DJI might just be what she needs. Now, a Barbie weighs in at a whopping 396 grams. Let's see how she does. Now, the drone is able to move with her, but it's not able to get any real height. It's very difficult to control, and uh, she's not having a good time steering, and I'm afraid uh, Ken's in a bit of danger there. Ah, uh, sorry, Ken. So this time, I've got the drone in the air, and I place Barbie on afterwards. As you can see, it still hits the round, and now she's gone mental. And despite Barbie's best efforts, Ken is not impressed with her new mode of transport. She's bouncing up and down, she's hitting Ken in the face, and she's having a real disaster. So we can come to the conclusion that our drone is going to max out around 400 grams. And your daughter is going to be better off with Barbie's penthouse Ferrari. So there we have it guys, uh, we found in this video that if you uh, put your Now TV remote in and the combined total weight is 362 grams, we're going to fly a Mavic Mini without any problems whatsoever. However, when we start going up towards the 400 gram mark, it really does start to suffer and start bouncing up and down on the ground. Okay guys, so last week I showed this video and I asked which creature came out of this hole. If you'd like to guess what creatures come out of the hole now, I'll have a little think and pause the video now. So now we're back, I can reveal it was a crab down the hole. Uh, now, only one person guessed, and it was Joe, so thanks for that Joe, and he guessed that it was a, a fiddler crab. Now I'm not 100% sure if it is a fiddler crab or not, 
But if somebody would be kind enough to let me know by dropping it in the comment section down below, I'll update the video description. I had great fun shooting this, and uh, here it is again in slow motion. Okay guys, so this video has been a bit different. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button, it helps me know I'm going in the right direction, and I'll make similar content in the future. Now that's it for this one, and I hope to see you in the next one.